up everybody, this is Kingdom bringing you a random Dota 2 game. Nexus Gaming invited me to cast this one. This is from Man Up Tournament, $100 prize, it's a March Madness style bracket going on over the next couple days. They're playing Z Kappa, Greek letters, go for it, why not. With me today is G, the wonderful, awesome player as well as cool guy. How's it going G? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You should hear my introductions for Fopsy. That was nothing. Oh my gosh. I can imagine this. <laughs> he probably scripts them for you. No, no. He doesn't script them for me. He yells at me every time I do it. At any rate, we've got, so far, standard bands. Mm -hmm. Coddle PL banned out by Z Kappa. Nyx Wisp banned out by Nexus Gaming. First pick going to Z Kappa. I'm just going to call them X from now on. XK. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Greek is a little bit too much for me on spring break. Batrider, first pick up for them. Want to win that mid lane as well as get some mid-game ganks going on. I actually haven't seen Batrider first pick in a while. Yeah, it's surprising when you still got heroes like Magnus left in the pool. Yeah, I mean, Magnus isn't even and as big. It depends. Big. They might have a really strong Batrider player and they feel really confident in that pick. Yeah, definitely. He can be very strong. Definitely dominating that mid-game. I mean, he hasn't really been doing that well recently, though. I haven't seen a Batrider dominating in a good while. At least a week. Ten That's like forever in the meta game right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five Let's see what the reaction dark. picks are from Nexus Gaming. Darkseer, yeah, he slipped through, and I don't know if they're gonna go. With, they are gonna go Darkseer with Darkseer Magnus. Magnus. I there mean, vacuum into reverse polarity. You can't argue with that. Huge team fight coming out of Nexus. We'll see what they can complement that those two picks with. Yeah, maybe a gyrocopter would be <coughs> really great for them. Just combo up the AOE ultimates. Is Kappa gonna pick up the life stealer though. So, strong mid-game carry. Magic community going to help with the vacuum, not so much with the reverse polarity. And a Rubik, too, so if he can steal some of those big ultimates, that could be... They have a lot of single-target damage right now, which is curious to see. They have a really good ganking potential between Batrider and Nyx, because they can get that uh, Nyx bomb into Batrider going on. Yeah, with the blink, as well as Rubik, who might build his own blink, provided he gets the farm on that support. SD, the support picked up by Nexus. They really like that Shattered Demon. Shadow Demon's an incredibly strong hero against Nyx, because anytime you open wound someone, disrupt, all of a sudden they can't do anything. Barrider jumps on somebody, disrupt, all of a sudden they're not taking damage. Life Sealer rages, you got Purge immediately to follow it up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Shadow Demon's a very good pick against Life Stealer. Yeah, I mean, his popularity right now is just because Life Stealer and PL are currently the most popular carries, and of course he counters both of them. Mm -hmm. Disruption illusions, of course, can of Phantom Lancer can spawn their own illusions, and it's one of them, like those unique moments of competitive Dota where you see Phantom Lancer armies facing off against each other. It's really funny. <laughs> yes, it is. Also, one of the biggest things about Shadow Demon is his Soul Catcher. That skill is incredibly strong if you have a team that can dish out damage. Yeah, absolutely. What is it, 50%? Uh, yep. At, at max level, it's 50% extra damage, which is absurdly large. It is also an additional... It is an additional instance of pure damage. So, it's works, I don't know, in a couple instances that works really so well. So Treant doesn't like it, is what it comes down to. Oh, or TA. <laughs> hey, Treant is a legitimate hero, okay? Don't make uh, me go I, into this I, argument I, again. You I, know my I opinions. Agree. I agree. I think <laughs> Treant is just being played the wrong way. We'll, we'll have to save that for later. Clockwork and Gyro banned out by Nexus. Kappa banning out the Leshrac as well as the Lone Druid. Don't want either of those pushing heroes, apparently. Maybe looking for a bit of a more late-game strategy. It appears so. They might go for another. They might go for an aggressive try lane with a safe lane carry. Someone who could dominate the lane solo against the darkseer. Oh, um, could. I don't know. We'll see what well, they decide to do. Even life stealer can do that. Rage allows him to yep. not care about the ion shells as much as much at least. Um, other heroes who can do really well against the darkseer included Nigma. Induce. Get rid of the creep who is Ion Shell. Actually, you can, if you want to be cute, you can do an Enchantress or a Chen solo against them. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, convert the I don't creep. think the Chen would be worthwhile. The Enchantress could be some next-level strategies coming out. Yeah, that's uh, that, tells, that shows you how my mind works. Luna's the last man out here from Kappa. Mid-game carries definitely is what it looks like they're getting rid of. They want to win that mid-game, definitely. And it's going to come down to team fights and ganking, looks like. Life Sealer gets farmed no matter what. I'm assuming Nexus Gaming, their carry... Who is their Ten carry player? I think it's Morphin. 
One thing to watch out for Nexus, or er, Kappa, remaining. I should say. I would not be surprised to see them pick up a Bounty Hunter. That way they have two different options to go with the ganking. And Bounty Hunter track is going to complement both Batrider and Lifestealer incredibly. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so much jump on, instantly jump on someone potential between you get the Nakes inside the Bounty Hunter, you get the Nakes inside the Batrider, I don't know. Yeah, I think Bounty Hunter definitely has a lot of synergy here. They need an offlane hero still. Or a safe lane against the Dark Seer Bounty Hunter can definitely fill that role if they want to take their trial lane aggressive. And it's going to depend on what other carry and support Nexus pick up for themselves. If they pick up mm -hmm. a hero who can outlane the Life Stealer, Chaos Knight, Life Stealer has a lot of trouble against. Um, who else? Naga. Although they're probably not going to pick a Naga. I think they should pick a Naga. It's a good hero. Would totally set up Naga, a team fight. Naga could be really good. Because then she can instantly ulti as soon as Batrider jumps in on anybody. Yeah, and then it's just going to completely set up the vacuum as well as Magnus. Lena gets picked up here by Kappa. That means more single target burst damage as well as an AoE stun to follow up on the Rubik and the, mm -hmm. bat, the Batrider initiation. Just need an offlane here for them. Kiro's the last support here for Nexus, so very strong hero in a tri lane scenario as well. That Ice Path stun as well as the AoE damage. I agree, lots of synergy with Magnus and Darks here. Yeah, and with the Shattered Demon to set up the Ice Path, it's really easy. I'm interested to see, I'm interested to see what these lanes are going to be like, because Nexus has set themselves up with a really solid defensive trial lane with Shakira and Shadow Demon, remaining. whereas Kappa have set themselves up a really good offensive trial lane with Nakes, Rubik, and Lena. So hopefully some good action that we can yell about. <laughs> I mean, else we'll see. Maybe, maybe this last, these last two picks will tell us something about the strategies. Yeah, I mean, typically both teams looking to be strong in the mid game. This last carry pick from Nexus is going to really define their lineup, and the mm -hmm. off laner is going to show us exactly how Kappa want the mid lane to go. If they pick up a Nature's Prophet for that off lane or jungle, either way, they can, or possibly safe lane. They're obviously going for a more split pushing kind of lineup. A puck would be more ganking oriented. Clockwork is out. Undying is out. What other offlane heroes are there? Windrunner is just a solid all around. She doesn't really show you anything. You got Windrunner in the pool, Bounty Hunter, Weaver. Yeah, I they, would love to see Nexus go up. What up? They safe lane. Actually, a Weaver would be good for both teams. Weaver does really well against the Life Stealer because hey, what happens when you slow max move speed? <laughs> Still max move speed. Oh, the storm. storm. Safe lane storm. I love it. Nix bomb. It's either safe lane storm more. or safe lane bat rider depends. Yeah, either one. It depends on we'll who the. Well, yeah, I don't know who their mid player is, so I can't guess based on the hero picks. But it would not surprise me to see Nexus go for a void, because I could really see Void doing well with their lineup. The chrono the chronosphere is incredible counter initiation on any sort of bat rider, storm spirit bomb, life steal, or stuff like that. Remaining. Chrono stops that all on its tracks. You've got the Chikiro. Ultimate Macro Pyre, which synergizes and covers well with Void. Darkseer, just another hero that works really well with him. Yeah, you've got, I think both the Chronosphere as well as the Song of the Siren would both be very good yep. counters to this aggressive Z Kappa line. Yes. Other options include 100%. Weaver, who would just be impossible to kill once he gets a Lincoln Sphere. I don't know if Morphin. No. So, t speaking of defensive. Alchemist. So tanky, a lot of DPS, but they've also got a lot of single target on the Z Kappa line. Now, of course, if they jump in on that Alchemist, they're not going to be able to kill him after he gets farmed before you've got a follow-up vacuum, follow-up reverse polarity, follow-up ice path. I mean, there's so much stun coming out. So this is going to be an interesting mid-game team fights and stuff. Yeah, it's going it's to be... I think I think Nexus is going to get a defensive trial and going. I think it's going to be all about finding out, you know, trying to get that Alchemist as far as possible. Mm -hmm. I would... I, I'm expecting him to go very early AC because that's the only way he'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lifestealer in the early stages of the game. Yeah, definitely. Maybe the Shadow Blade even. I wonder if they want to use the Shadow Blade option. It looks like both teams want to go safe lane. Potentially, Nakes is headed toward that safe lane. Yep. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and introduce these heroes. We've got Ilmatician, I guess is his name, playing the Lifestealer. Floppity holding up the Storm Spirit. We have Nash, the captain, I think. Well, he was the first guy in the lobby at any rate. Nash on the Rubik. Um... I can't see the names. <laughs> Promethean on the Batrider and Phalanx on the Lena for Kappa's side. On the Nexus side, we've got Rakuto on the Jakiro. We've got He Has Risen Icon. Actually, it's Icon, not it's the Icon, Icon on yeah. Darkseer. Morphin on Alchemist, Caillou on Magnus, and 
her on Shadow Demon. They actually smoked up to go get their lane wards down, expecting a five man from Cap uh, up on the top lane. Yeah, they definitely want to get this. Though. Each team scouting out their own jungle, protecting their own wards. Yeah, so it does look like the Radiant are going to safe lane, which is kind of surprising. Like you said, I really expected their tri lane to be an aggressive tri lane. And it looks like the Shadow Demon and the whole... Both teams just want to protect their farm and get their carry safely into the mid game. Makes sense. I, I, I agree with this decision by Kappa. It, it, they would have an incredibly tough time going up aggressively against the Shadow Demon, Jakiro, and Alchemist tri lane. Mm -hmm. And by going safe lane, you have Nakes who can easily solo Darkseer. So what they get is two supports that are free to roam around the map. And between Lina and Rubik, they definitely have kill potential on Darkseer. If he's at all caught out of position, Rubik lift, Lina stun, all the burst damage coming out of that. At this point, though, we're going to see an engagement immediately onto the mid lane. If we get a disruption off here, I believe the storm is dead. No! Going to make it out just in time. If he would have gotten disrupted, he would have been absolutely dead. Double damage to Kiro, Ice Path. You've got a Magnus there with a, no, a Skewer back, followed up with a Darkseer. I mean, he would have been so dead. Not even funny. Darkseer so does have Surge first, so he's going to go straight into lane without an Ion Shell just to get his level 2. And right now, Alchemist just by himself having a party with yeah, Grievel's Greed like up Bat on the top Rider's lane. It looks like going to be in the jungle for the early stages at this point. Yeah, he's probably going to go into the off lane eventually to try and slow down the Alchemist, but it's not going to be he's not going to be able to handle Alchemist. I mean, Alchemist just gets going so quickly. This is the one problem. I mean, Alchemist is a difficult hero to deal with. He's extremely strong in against an aggressive tri lane with that unstable concoction, that humongous long stun. This is interesting to see. It looks like we're going to have an aggressive tri lane with Darkseer and the two supports coming out of Nexus. They want to contest the Lifesteal's farm, but they don't think Darkseer can do it alone. They want to make sure their Alchemist actually gets free farm in his top lane. Very smart decision making, I feel. Yeah, no, this is an Darkseer excellent... Yeah, I disagree. Darkseer I agree. will be slightly underleveled, but they're actually contesting Nexus farm without risking their own carries farm. You know, this is working out beautifully for Nexus right now. I mean, Alchemist, with his gold earning potential, he's maxing Greed very intelligently. It's exactly what he should be doing right now. And his mm -hmm. GPM is just going to skyrocket as a result. Already up to 10 last hits in less than 2 minutes. Every creep so far. Going to see it go on Jakiro, though, right to begin with. Open wounds. He's going to die, definitely. No, Surged! Oh. He's going to make it out! This is awesome! <laughs> Surge. Lena's again, trying to go for it. Again, the Darks here being really good against the Nakes with that <laughs> open wounds essentially doing nothing. That was awesome. Very smart play by the Darks here. No, Icon's a seriously good offlane player. I expect nothing less of him at this point after watching him, like, win 1v3 a couple lanes. At any rate, though, I think these supports might back off now, now that they've slowed down, allowed Darks here to get his level 2 with the Ion Shell and the Surge. They're probably just going to back off, pull their own camp, especially now that Batrider is up against the Alchemist. Batrider will solo slow down an Alchemist farm, considering at the moment he's approximately evil levels, only two levels behind. Evil levels. I mean, even levels. Storm getting chased out yeah. of lane by the Shatter Demon, so that Caillou has a little bit more room to farm on this mid lane. Already got the bottle up, bottle crowing it up. Well, not really a crow right now. Shatter Demon is annoying the Storm Spirit a little bit. Yeah, except he's got a haste, so it's not really gonna do anything. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever, right? Got. So, so far, you can see that Storm Spirit is getting the better of this middle lane by a couple last hits, but Lifestealer and Alchemist right now are toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of last hits, mm -hmm. pretty much. Alchemist yes. is a little bit ahead, but, I mean, of course, those last hits mean more on the Alchemist. He's getting more gold per last hit. Indeed he is. They actually... I don't, know, I don't think they'll kill this Batrider, but... One of the things that happened was as soon as Batrider showed up, that 1v1 duration where he had against the Alchemist, he managed to slow down his farm and allow Nakes to catch up while the other two supports left the bottom lane from Nexus. Mm -hmm. Long journey, they didn't have the gold for TPs, however, I mean, Alchemist is still farming very well. He's gonna go, looks like he's going for a Midas. Got that glove with haste already up, and he's gonna have it by three minutes, easily. No, I mean just three minutes, four minutes. He's gonna have it by like five minutes in. Yeah. Only, I can't count, don't ask me to count. <laughs> That's not what I do. I yell about Dota matches, I don't count. Bottom lane, Darkseer is going to continue to... Oh, no, in mid lane, I missed oh. it. On behalf of Storms. Storm Storm is Spirit, one on one, kill. managing to get the first blood. And he's got his ultimate up now. This is going to seriously slow down Caillou. And also, it's going to completely allow Storm Spirit to continue to get out of control. He's got a thousand gold up already, so he can get some mana boots or some treads, whatever he wants. He's going to be able to... Yeah, he's going to go for the treads. 
Like it's literally 1,000 gold ahead of Magnus at this point. Yeah, I mean... It's going to be very difficult for Magnus to win this lane at this point right now. He can't win. I, I believe... I'm going to just say Storm's already won the lane. Now, Caillou does have that ultimate, so if he's able to catch the Storm out, he might be able to burst him down with that ultimate under the tower Radiant if he gets a skewer backwards. Tower. Otherwise, there's just no chance. Storm goes a little too aggressively. Lena on the bottom lane does pick off the Darkseer on very low health. Darkseer may be playing a little too aggressively. Sorry, I apologize for missing that. That's two kills, man. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the Rubik pickup, Lena stun, and the burst damage from Dragon Slave. I really like the idea. I really like how Lena got a point in Fiery Soul. Because against that Darkseer, the 40% attack speed after two spells is going to be 80%. Her auto attacks are going to do more damage than an extra point in Line Strike Array. 60 damage. So I, I agree with that. Fiery Soul choice. Fiery Soul is on the top 10 list of under uh, underestimated skills. Agreed, especially in the early game, because what it does is it allows Lena to have significant physical damage output, even though she's really low level. Absolutely. Now, Midas completed on the Alchemist. His farm spirals out of control at this point. I mean... Nakes, although he's a fast farmer, is not going to be able to keep up with this. And that is the one issue which Kappa are going to have to deal with in this mid-game, is the Alchemist is going to be freaking strong. Alchemist is already 400 net worth ahead of the Lifestealer. He's uh, charging right up now, right now he's neck and neck with the Storm, but that's because Storm got first blood. Tried to charge up a stun to throw at the Batrider, but Batrider just a little bit too quickly. Alchemist, of course, doesn't have boots. Why boots when you can have a Midas? <laughs> so Alchemist is going to back off. He's got a salve. He'll be fine. Indeed. Goes ahead and buys and the guy's ultimate if he really needs the regen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's so tanky at this point. Can he continue farming? Oh, this is the last hit. Throws down the acid spray. Oh, Ice Path just barely missed. I believe if that Ice Path had hit, that might have been a dead bat. I mean, the, the synergy in Nexus's lineup is pretty insane. Shattered Demon Disruption to wait while the Alchemist ult... I mean, while the Alchemist stun channels. I mean, seriously. Looks like Icon's gone ahead back into the jungle with that Ion Shell. Unfortunately, oh. he's running into all Looks kinds like of golems. Looks like they're Batrider. Don't think they'll have to get a kill. Yeah, they're not going to. Got too many stacks against him. He's just going to back off. Has the ultimate up. He'll be fine. He's a level 5 bat, though. He's almost got his ultimate. If he had his ultimate, he could try to kill the Alchemist. I doubt that he would. He's got too much support. Shattered Demon here as well. Looks like in the mid lane, they're going to make it go on the Magnus. No, just slowing him down, preventing him from pushing the tower. They might get this top tower. Looks like they will. Mm -hmm. With that acid spray, they're able to push the Bat Rider off at least a little bit. Doing a lot of damage. No, not going to get the tower. Going to have to back off. Going to be on very low health. Will not be deniable, however. Seeing a lot of rotation by the Lena and the Rubik. They walked all the way from bottom lane to mid lane. Didn't get an opportunity. Now they've drawn the path. They're going to walk up to top. Maybe we'll see some action going on up there. Now, I gotta say, in a 3 versus 3, I'm probably gonna favor the Dire right now, because Bat does not have a 6. If Bat has 6, no, he's gonna get it this wave. He's gonna get it. If he has, now that he has his ultimate, okay, there it is. I think this fight is generally gonna come down to how the engagement begins. If Rubik manages to get a pickup to initiate, I feel like they'll have the upper hand. Mm -hmm. If Shadow Demon gets a good disruption, things could go their way. Well, I mean, that's the difficulty, because the Batrider ult, Shadow Demon's just going to defensively disrupt, and it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like... Oh, Invisible Magnus, that's going to be your, um... Something factor. X factor. Yep. Whatever you call that. <laughs> Words aren't coming yeah, If Magnus right now. gets an opportunity to skewer in and get a good reverse polarity, that's going to be a really good fight. Oh, oh there's they the got disruption, disruption followed up Rider. Ice Path. Stun channeled. Going in. No, it's gonna self stun. Oh, Storm jumps in. That's gonna immediately pick off the Jakiro. Jumping forward onto the Alchemist with Mal Magnus in the bat back. Picks up the Bat Rider. Storm gets the Alco. That's the important one. Reverse onto two, but there's no follow up. Now Magnus has to get away. He's gonna get chased. Rubik with the pickup. This could be a very dead Magnus. Life Stealer is rotated in. Here comes the slow disruption. Is in this place. That's gonna take out the Life Stealer. Shockwave coming through, getting the Rubik very low. Here comes Jakiro back into the fight, but I don't think it's gonna anything else is gonna happen. In the meantime, Darkseer pushing the bottom tower. Probably not gonna get it, but gonna drop it down. Now he's so close to killing the Rubik. 28 health. <laughs> oh snap! TPN from that exchange that fight was a two for one in favor of Kappa. Mm-hmm. So. Radiance bottom tower. Instant double teleports as soon as they jumped on the Batrider. Good plays, good reactions by Kappa.
Yeah, very good rotation. And of course, the important one was picking off that alchemist. Alchemist dying there is absolutely critical. It slows down his farm because it lowers, it forces him to restart his goblin's greed stacks. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, obviously killing the carry is the most important thing you can do. Alchemist more so than any other one. I mean, he's going to get it back up. He's going to keep going, and there's nothing really you can do to completely slow him down, especially considering that. Are his supports stacking? His supports should be stacking. If they're not, um. Yeah, jakira has got a stack going on over here at the medium camp. The small camp is the one you want to stack for an Alk, because yes. then he can just clear those true. out so quickly. Yeah, the me the small camp is the most effective one for Alchemist to make big moolah off of. Nix also has his Midas, so he's doing what he can to keep up with that farm from Alchemist. I believe it it's was kind of a little no bit later. You have to go Midas if you want to try and keep up. I, I almost think he shouldn't try to keep up and should just go for mid lane and then they should five man with the uh, Batrider ult the storm early game advantage. Some dewarding attempts going on here from Lena. Ice Path gonna miss, but vacuum back gonna slow her down. She's gonna get pegged uh, by this ion, ion shell. A lot of damage for Lena. Oh, stun is gonna hit. Now there's an ultimate use. He's gonna try to pull him up to the high ground. Is he gonna get it off? No, he's not. Surge gonna allow Icon to get away just fine. TP in from the um, Rubik now. Lena gonna survive this gank attempt, but now it's Storm in the mid lane going against the Magnus. Yeah, not gonna get anything. I'm trying to finish the D ward, I guess. It's not you gonna got get it. it. You got you it. Completed it. Yep. There you go. It's an important ward, man. Now he's gonna go in on the Magnus. Magnus, you're in the wrong spot, buddy. You're gonna get slowed down if you screw to the high ground. No! Bad Rider with a flame break gonna pick him off a little bit out of position there. Yeah, Probably smart move by the Storm jump on that, knowing he had Bad Rider there to back him up. Uh -huh. You were mentioning earlier how you don't think the Nyx should try and keep up and then Radiant's how Kappa should 5-man at some point, but the problem is Nexus has a really good 5-man lineup. They can defend towers incredibly well as a 5-man. Between Acid Spray, Dual Breath, Iron Shells, there's there's no way they can 5-man against that lineup. They need Radiant's to get pickoffs. And true. hell, I might even like to see a Blink Dagger Lifestealer. Oh, that, that would be legit. I would. R I've always loved Blink Dagger Lifestealer. It's one of my favorite plays to watch. It's just absolutely one of the most entertaining things. Just watching Alchemist farm here. He's up to 62 last hits in 11 minutes, 12 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Also making room in the lane for his supports to get levels, which is going to be extremely mm -hmm. important come mid game. This Jakiro, this Shattered Demon, need to have those high levels. Shattered Demon. Just and you can see the power of Alchemist. Even though Nakes has over 10 last hits. Alchemist still has 500 gold worth of net worth, 700 worth net worth above the Nakes. Yeah, he's up even by with his death, even with you know all the stuff that's been going on top lane. 50 GPM advantage, definitely working really well for those guys right now. I heard Storm jump. Where is he? Yeah, Lena gonna get that kill. Last hit on Darkseer. Floppity gonna Close barely Storm survive. Went down on that. Yeah. He's going for an early orchid. He's going to have it too by 20 minutes. And I think that's a really smart decision because as soon as he sees an alchemist charging up his um, unstable concoction, mm -hmm. orchid, all of a sudden guaranteed stun on alchemist. Unless the shatter the shattered demon disrupts him. Looks like Magnus is going to rotate into the bottom lane to try and contest the life stealer's farm a little bit. Life stealer's got that phase as well as the mine is 1500 gold in addition. I have to see what he goes for. If he goes for a blink dagger, I'm going to like love him forever. Could be my favorite life stealer <laughs> player. I think the blink dagger might be a bit of wishful thinking. I, I would probably expect an armlet or a deso. One mm -hmm. or the other. Deso would be really strong against Alchemist because of how low Alchemist's base armor is. He's currently level nine with three base oh armor, god. which is he, he might really low for a 53 HP. If he takes, oh god, he's gonna die. No, 27. Going he's, for the shadow blade too. Very, yep, he's going for the shadow blade, which I think is surprising. I think it might be too risky of a choice per se. It's very aggressive coming into this mid game, but they've got the mid game lineup to back it up. They've got the Magnetar with the reverse. I mean, he hasn't been having a good game so far, but he's going to be able to keep. I mean, reverse is a strong spell, even at level 1. Mm -hmm. You've got the Dark Seer backing for it. Oh, a stolen Ice Path follows up with a stolen Shockwave. Okay, mm -hmm. nothing super exciting. That actually gives Rubik a significant amount of burst damage. Yeah, with in addition to the Feyrolt. Magnus is going to find himself a DD. Gonna go ahead and pick that one up in his bottle. Top lane. Where is Alchemist? He's TPing bottom. He's gonna solo up against the life stealer, which of course he can do. You just wait for him to rage, count to three, and then pick start your stun. 
Oh, life's oh, doing disruption. Here, dude. Get the disruption. No, rage can't rage out. Be. Nothing they can, can they do. Can they deal enough damage? No. They got really Alchemist close. Alchemist just slow with the Shadow Blade. If he had gotten that Shadow Blade attack off, yeah. he could have gotten the kill on Nyx. Absolutely. Now, but this is fourth Nyx out of the lane, which means that Alchemist is... GPM is going to go even further above the Nakes, which is, I mean, it's going to be significant in this mid game. Whoever can deal higher DPS is going to have an advantage here. Man, Alchemist now farming the enemy lane, which, I mean, he's got the ability to. They have the map control for this right now. I mean, Vegeta Storm can drop in. up Darkseer and Jakiro walking around. However, the Radiant had a sentry ward here that spotted up them smoking around. We managed yeah. to wear off the smoke. Yeah, they're gonna Nothing's see in this mid lane. Last year comes back to the bottom lane. Alchemist just gonna beat on this tower, try to bring it down. Battery gonna pick up the Magnus in the safe lane with the Storm Spirit's help, but now they're gonna try and push the enemy tower. Life Steeler going in onto the Alchemist. Alchemist running away as his ultimate ends. Mid lane, we've got three dire heroes. Dire seeming a little spread out right now, not focusing. Oh, there's gonna be the disruption. That Unfortunately, stack is the ice path. Lena should still go down anyway. No two man stun, not gonna be enough. Jakira's gonna get the last hit here. Alchemist actually coming really close to dying to the life stealer one on one. Yeah, I mean he's low. he's got the light he's got the shadow blade, so I don't think life stealer can kill him solo. He's gonna be able to TP Dyer's out here. Top, top tower top gets dropped point. by the radiant. Did Floppity get the last hit there? No, it went down to the radiant. Alright. Oh. So but he's got oh. most Rubik managed to get some big plays there, almost dies. Oh. oh. Dark's here lift. Getting oh. blocked by the Jakiro! <laughs> Blink in from the bat, early blink, picking off the Shadow Demon. He ought to be able to kill him. Yeah, one more last hit. Life Sealer gets it. Jakiro launching some damage. Ice Path not going to be able to get the Jakiro. No, I mean the Rubik don't think. Yeah, they're going to make it out. The Jakiro Dude, blocking that Dark Seer like has to Big be. Big plays by Rubik when the Dark Seer is diving in. He got disrupted and then vacuumed, but he had the reaction, the composure. Pick up the Dark Seer, throw him under tower range, make sure it hit him with the Shockwave and the Fade Bolt. Allow time for the Bat Rider to teleport in and get the kill. Yeah, that was very well done on his part, and I mean, barely survived it too. Darkseer getting blocked by the Jakira, though. I bet they're unhappy about that. Ping's going up on the top lane. Looks like Storm and Lena rotating up towards that top lane, but we got mass TPs in from the Dire. This could go very badly, especially with the invisibility up on Alk. I don't know if they have the sight for this. Storm could get caught out here. If he gets disrupted, no, gonna jump out of the way. Looks like Lena's gonna be the one that go on. Alchemist is gonna finish this one off. He's gonna get stunned. Storm gonna have to jump away. Very low on mana. If he gets stunned up here, he's gonna try no continue to jump. He's, he's gonna, gonna be, be alright. He has a regen rune going on. Oh, alright, yeah, he's totally fine. Didn't notice that. Radiance Meanwhile, Lifestealer gets the middle tower. Rubik denies the bottom tower, so all in all, what was that? Four or five teleports for a kill on Lena, a loss of a mid tower, and a denial of the bottom tower. Yeah, this is definitely looking solid for the di the Radiance so far. Let's go ahead. Looking at the gold graph, we see that they are ahead by 2k despite the Alchemist's better farm, as well as 4k experience. Floppity picking off the Darkseer on the top lane. I mean, these individual Radiant heroes having a big amount of difficulty here. It's going to take a while for this Alchemist to get up online. He's bottom lane. Oh, snap. That was a really bad... Darkseer disconnects, Batrider pauses as Caillou cancels the reverse polarity, I think. <laughs> Am <laughs> yeah, I alive? It. I mean, this is really good for Kappa. Alchemist went max out Goblin's Greed. He's got the same Midas as Lifesteal, so that shouldn't matter. But Lifesteal is only 400 net worth behind Alchemist in 17 min 18 minutes of game almost. That's 18 minutes of farming with Goblin's Greed, and he's only managed to accrue a 400 gold lead. Yeah, in addition, it looks like there's a gank going onto the Alchemist right now. They've got the dust. Ought to be able to pick him off here. He, I mean, he's fast in addition to... They're going to have to stun him also. No, I think he should be dead. If if Rubik manages to get a lift, he's going to he's gonna buy enough time for Batrider to blink in. And Bat's get the got the ultimate up, going. yeah. So it should be a kill here. question is whether Storm's going to die as we see a ping up on that. He will. Magnus has a skewer and reverse polarity up. Storm is just out of mana. Magnus knows that. So I expect Magnus to skewer down, get a reverse polarity, and then even if he doesn't, I don't think he even needs a reverse polarity. If he hits the skewer, gets an auto attack, and then a shockwave, Storm's dead. Yeah, now that icon has reconnected, we should go right back into the game. 
So, hopefully they're able to pick up the Storm Sphere. That's going to help them out a lot. I'll watch the bottom gank. Oh, uh, cancels the skewer. Yep. Storm He's not going to go down. Alchemist dies. Storm not dead. No, waiting for it. Is he going to go in? Looks like Shadow Demon's coming around. Storm maybe overstayed. No, Storm backs off. Storm, He's Storm's fine. Safe. Did Magnus not skewer it all there? No, he didn't skewer. He canceled it. Shadow Demon going to TP to the bottom lane to try and defend this tower. Does he have the Shadow Poison? Oh, he doesn't. There's so nothing that Shadow Demon can do to this lane. Yeah, absolutely Maybe nothing. he can get a disruption on himself and then bait some stuff out with an illusion, but that's no. about as much as he can do. Storm Sphere picks off the Magnus, has that Silence Stick up. Able to get the kill there. Now we're going to lose the bottom tower. This is starting to look very bad for Nexus. Had the lineup, just having a lot of difficulty in this early game. Alk not getting the farm. He's up to... Got a plate mail now. Got a lot of armor coming his way, but he's going to have difficulty. I mean, he's pretty farmed, but not that farmed. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, Alchemist has his minus on cooldown. He, he went for a Shadow Blade instead of the AC early on. So, d until he had that playmail, he was incredibly vulnerable to any sort of auto attacks, and Nakes made sure to take advantage of that. You could see, I don't know, you weren't watching the gank, you were watching top, but Nakes hit him three times, and Alchemist was practically dead. Yeah, Nakes, especially on a strength hero. See Looks the like Storm coming around with the haste rune. The yeah, Storm coming around with a haste rune up on that top side. Dyer want to push this mid lane as five. There's it's gonna five be minutes. rough. Yeah, it looks like Storm's just gonna say, forget this. Let them get the tower. I'll see if I can get the choo choo top. TP's in. See Alchemist Ultimate getting popped up. Oh well, I see they're going in. I'm waiting for the reverse. I'm not seeing it. Instead, looks like Bangus is gonna go down. No reverse. Four Big dead already. Plays by Storm. Massive plays by Storm. And that's gonna be a team wipe. Five for none. Darkseer does oh, Darkseer get managed to pick off a Rubik. Probably but that was a I'm very sure. interesting fight. I noticed Darkseer got caught out here. On, I don't know if you can see my pings. But he got caught on this ledge around here. Yeah, whereas that. the rest of his team was standing here. He managed to get a vac and a wall going this way. But really not much he could do. And uh, They managed to get the jump on his teammate. The Nakes bomb. The Storm AoE damage hit three heroes. Instantly wiped out the Jakiro, the Alchemist, and the Shadow Demon. Yeah, it's excellent team fight on their part. Now, I mean, if they would, they didn't get the reverse off. That was what really hurt them in that fight. They could have gotten reverse polarity off. I believe that fight would have gone completely differently. Life Stealer locked down for however much time would have completely changed the way that team fight looked. Of course, I mean it's only I think a, no, it's level two reverse now. I mean I can't count Nexus out. They've got life. Alchemist farming, and I've seen what an alchemist farming can do from a mass of like three times this deficit. I mean, he's just such a flash farming hero. If you do not keep him down, if you give him any room to farm, he can come back from any kinds of deficits. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, the only problem though, Nakes right now is 200 gold from Mjolnir. He's gonna have Armlet, Mjolnir, Midas, Phase at 22 minutes. He is almost. 2k net worth ahead of Alchemist. Storm is 400 gold ahead of Alchemist. That is impressive to see these heroes. Disruption going so in. So far ahead of an Alchemist. Oh, uh, but Lifestealer gonna go down here, probably. I'm guessing, yeah, he's gonna die. No! Infest into a dire creep. He might make it out alive. Storm jumps in, straight in onto the hero. The hero gonna fall. Alchemist gonna pick off the Lifestealer, and that's the important thing. Gets the stun off on the Storm Spirit. Can they pick him off? Storm almost out of mana. No, oh, he's got tons of mana. I don't know why he did further than that. Alchemist gonna get picked up. They did get the important kill on that life stealer. Lost to Jakira. That's a trade they'll take any day of the week. Plus, <laughs> stolen Alchemist stun gonna nail the Shadow Demon. It's a little cheeky right there, in my opinion. Magnus comes in. He wants to go in for this fight. He's gonna have to back off, though. His team is backing off. He should be able to make it out front just fine. He gets an Invis rune. Yeah, he's totally fine. Unless he stalls too long. Oh, jump in oh, from the he storm. Got it. He's gonna get completely he dropped. too long. He should have taken that rune and ran away. He didn't know he had three heroes coming on his tail. He wanted to get those bottle charges off. Didn't have the time for that. Storm jumping in on him. Yeah, storm with storm's almost up to an orchid and a bloodstone. Just getting so much farm. And even though they got the kill on Life Stealer, they lost the Magnus, Shatter Demon, and Jakiro. Bat Rider is getting all his important items up. In addition, haven't really talked about him as much. He's got the bl blink force in 22 minutes. I mean, these, these guys are getting the items, man. Yeah. 
I mean, if you look at how that mid lane went, Storm is sitting at 9 0 6, whereas Magnus is sitting at 1 6 0. Storm is having such a bigger impact in this game than Magnus. Yeah. And I mean, Magnus just because he lost that first kill, didn't see it, so I can't say why it happened, but it's just completely slowing down every other part of his game. He's not doesn't have the level advantage where he can just jump in and immediately nail those reverse polarities. Doesn't have the leverage that he needs to really do what he needs to do. Yeah, Out Storm is about to complete his Bloodstone. That is going to be a 23 minute Bloodstone after completing an Orchid. That is an incredibly farm Storm Spirit, and I think he's going to be very difficult to keep down yeah, as absolutely. the game progresses. Alchemist going back, continuing his farm. He's up to 3,500 gold. Behind the Life Sealer in gold per minute, though. Going to run into the Life Sealer here, actually. They see him back right off. See the whole raiding team, except the Storm Spirit. Storm isn't here. Rubik denies the mid tower in the meantime. Sentry Ward goes down. Ice Path coming up on the top lane. Disruption as well as purge down onto the Batrider, but now Shattered Demon's in over his head. He's going to self disrupt. Immediately, you see the Lena getting picked off. I hear the Batrider ultimate. That's going to pick off the Dark Seer. Now, Alchemist going in, going to finish off the Batrider. Magnus finishes off that one. So, in the end, two for one. And that's going to be the end of the engagement, I believe, as Storm is not here. I'm looking at this net worth graph, and it's just making. It's just astounding how. Core this Magnus is. This Magnus has 600, 800 more gold than Rubik. Rubik is playing as the four role support on Nexus. Storm's gonna get a jump on Alchemist mid lane. Might actually pick him off. Yep. Not enough mana for the Shadow Blade. It's picked off. But we, again, we see the problems with the stun stacking. Ice Path as well as Disruption used at the same time. They have to be unhappy about that. They try the ultimate. There's. Oh, we have the reverse though. That's probably gonna get this Storm Spirit. There he is. There and the is. godlike streak that fixes his gold problems. <laughs> That's 800 gold going the way of Magnus. He's got his blink dagger flying in already. Storm Spirit bloodstone down to four charges. That's a big pickoff. Although they got the alchemist, Storm Spirit dying there, probably more important. I feel like Magnus should have bought back just to keep up his goblins' greed charges. I nah, didn't really have anywhere super safe to farm. I think he actually has enough money to complete his um, AC. Chris. He's really yeah, close he if does. he doesn't have it. And maybe he... I think he needs a BKB this game. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he should either buy BKB straight up or complete his AC ASAP. Because he needs one of those two survivability items. I feel like the Shadow Blade was the wrong choice this game. I don't feel like he was going to be in an opportunity to be aggressive ever. But yeah. he's the carry I, player. He knows what he's doing. I'm seconding that opinion. And I agree with the AC or BKB. I've, I think both of them possibly are the right choice here. Mm -hmm. I mentioned early on how I felt like AC was going to be a core item on Alchemist against this, you know, Storm. Well, I didn't say, say anything about the Storm, but the Nakes going up with that physical damage that's going to be huge against him. Storm is also, gonna, is also one, almost, you know, it's got a ton of physical damage alongside with the magic. He, Alquist decides to buy uh, a DC. Smart choice in live streaming. Jump in on the Magnus. He's got the silence up. Magnus just drops to a DD. DD, yeah. This no Storm has here. a gem right now, so this Alchemist is in serious danger of getting picked off. He's going to go down. Uh, jump in from the Storm. TP out from the Life Sealer. It doesn't get cancelled. Surprisingly, defensive disruption onto the Storm Spirit. That's an I guess it's a defensive disruption. Purge down, too. They oh. might bring the Storm down. They've got... The, can they keep so up with them? So much damage coming out of that Alchemist. That was... Incredibly yeah, fast. He has the AC finished. He's got the, uh, as well as the Shadow Blade up and the ultimate form. He's going to survive completely. Am I going to Roche here? No, not going to Roche. He's just going to go farm Ancients. Yeah, no, between uh, the negative armor of the AC, the crazy fast attack speed of the Alchemist, and the level 4 Soul Catcher, that storm took a huge amount of damage in a really short amount of time. Yeah, one, if one of these if one of these support heroes is able to get a Vlad's for this alchemist, that's going to be massive. I, mean, I really don't feel like anyone's going to need to buy one for him. He's, gonna, he can, he's probably going to go for Satanic himself, in my opinion. Possibly. I mean, it depends on what he goes for. I think the BKB is the next item choice for him. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Then probably, and then I would value the um, abyssal crits. Maybe not crits, but at least abyssal. Gonna go on this life sealer bottom lane. We've got an invisible Mac. 
Alchemist coming in. Going to go right in, start right-clicking. Rage is used. He needs to TP, but no, he's not going to make it. This is a very dead life stealer. Going to get stunned up, he's brought dead. down. He knows it. He's just trying to stall around. If you, maybe if he would have rage TP'd, he would have made it out, but no, there's a Magnus there with no, the RP. No, Magnus, yep. Definitely there's nothing worth he could it. do. And I'll, I'll he knew as soon as he saw that gank coming that everybody was there, and there was no way he was going to be able to get a rage teleport out. Yeah. That was a little tried. I mean, I don't know. My opinion. Yeah, at least force the reverse polarity out. Yeah, so that's on cooldown so the rest of the team can uh, push a little bit more safely. Alchemist coming to the mid lane. No, oh, that's an enemy. <laughs> Rubik having stolen the acid spray. <laughs> I liking this Rubik's play. It's very cheeky. Alchemist continuing to farm those ancients up to 2,500 gold after finishing the AC. He can maybe go into rush right No, he's not going to. He'll probably need lives too before he does that. What's he going to do? He's got the BKB. He's going. He's got. I'm sorry, he has the ogre club is going for that BKB which is the right item choice in this scenario storm going into the enemy jungle might not be the right choice alchemist is here and sees him storm has the gem though so all storm also sees that if actually no I think alchemist stayed on top of the hill I don't think storm got a view of him if storm gets picked off here this is massive storm sitting near the edge a blink RP would end his life no he's gonna jump down to the low ground should be able to make it out alive yeah alchemist just gonna stun himself it looks like he's gonna keep farming it's not even gonna slow him down he is only about 1,000 gold, 1,200 gold shy of that BKB, and he's going to have it so quickly. And I mean, his, I mean, just look at his GPM, it's going up and up and up. That's what he does. Alchemist. Might as well rename him G GPM Maker. See the st <laughs> smoke up from the Radiant, they're coming up into the Dire Jungle, might be able to catch out the Alk here, coming over to the low ground, they're at least going to definitely get the Shakira who gets silenced and like, totally screwed over. Alchemist getting skewered too, he should go down! Yeah, it's gonna fall, but here's a vacuum into the wall. Darkseer already gonna Big take off. RP! No. Skewer! It's However, there's no follow-up. No, the their their damage was dead Bad already. That was an incredibly good counter-initiation, but it came too late. The Alchemist was already dead. If they had been there maybe three seconds earlier, Alchemist would have lived. He probably would have got the, the stun-off on three or four heroes. Three seconds, man. Yeah, that was massive. That, I mean... The RP in the wall picking off two was good, but just like Life Stealer surviving with ten, Bat Rider surviving with like thirty. I mean, uh, now Storm gets the mid tower for basically free, jumping up onto the Shadow Demon. He's gonna get a disruption off, but probably not gonna survive. Demon. Yeah, that was a very that, that was a misplay by him. He tried to go in for the the down tower. Storm saw the auto attack projectile, instantly jumps up, managed to pick him off. Nothing Shadow Demon can do. If he would have gotten the Nye, I would have said that was worth Radiant's it. Bottom tower is under attack. Jumping in onto the Jakiro, who is also going to fall under his own tower. TP in from... Oh, no, cancel TP. Knows everybody's dead. The Storm knows what he's doing. Yeah. Sitting on 11 plus on charge and 4.4k. If he goes for Hex, this is going to be very, very bad for the Nexus. Yeah, Alchemist continuing to farm. He is only 700 shy of a BKB. Once he gets the BKB... Storm's just gonna be, well, well, shit, the only thing they have that goes through BKB is that Bat Rider Lasso. But if they Lasso the Alk, you've got an immediate jump in from the Magnus, immediate vacuum from the Dark Seer. I mean, this Storm is sitting on 4.7k, I don't know what he's waiting for. If, if, if he goes towards the Sheep Stick, I think Alchemist is gonna be in huge trouble because he can just jump in, Sheep, all of a sudden. Nothing Alchemist can do anymore because, as much as good as the BKB is, if he's hexed, he can't activate it. Yeah. I mean, I don't think Storm can pick him off in this hex duration, though. A little bit too dangerous. That solo, oh, regen solo I don't know, but with the rest of his team there, most definitely. If a team fight breaks out and he gets the hex, it's a dead Alchemist. Yeah. Right now, they're taking Roshan, though. Dyer do not know what's going on. They're going to let it go. They can't contest it, I don't think. Yeah, well, they have the RP up. They might have been able to, but are not going to get into the position for it at any rate. Alchemist continuing to farm. Has the BKB finished and is farming up now, at least for buyback, probably. Morphin trying to get as much farm as he can going, and he's still neck and neck with the Lifestealer. Lifestealer barely ahead. Lifestealer is actually 2,000 gold ahead in terms of net worth. But then again, I think... That is due to uh, slash tower. Bat Rider jumps in onto the Alchemist, wasting his precious BKB second. There's a 10 second BKB charge. He's just gonna have to back off with that. 
I think that was actually kind of overreaction by Alchemist. He didn't really need to pop that. I, I only saw that second half of the engagement, but it didn't seem like Batrider had backup for that. At the very least, he's going to have to wait 60 seconds before they even try and engage this for the 9 second BKB charge. Nate jumped in the storm. Expect a good initiation going on right here. He wants to jump in. They probably guess that Alchemist is at the Ancients, but Alchemist has already gone back <laughs> straight into the trees there. Not going to help it out. Looking for somebody. Sees the Magnus going to jump straight in. Nakes bomb. Magnus is going to get picked off immediately. Does he have buyback is the question? Probably not. No, no buyback. This is a terrible engagement. They need to just get out. Morphin going to go down because his BKB was not up. Darkseer going to fall as well. Lasso used on him. They do get the Aegis, but Lifesteer gets a triple. Out That's four back. kills, a buyback for an Aegis right now. No, they're Unless gonna they get can pick up Storm. They're going to get okay, him, but they he's got enough. Storm. Um, they do have enough. He has enough. He's going to be back up. Oh, no, 40 seconds. Not that many. Lifestealer is really low. If they could get him, this might be worth it. Alchemist running forward, trying to get into position. Ice Path going to miss. I mean, I don't think he should suicide for it. He's going to go ahead. There's a dust thrown down, but he's going to get picked up. This is extremely aggressive, but I mean, this is the time to be aggressive. Going to try to man it up, but going to get stunned. This is going to be an absolute mistake. Batrider double kill for Alina. Not worth it. If they would have gotten a lifestealer, maybe, but... No, the end result of that fight was, I think, six kills and a buyback on Alchemist for a kill on Storm and a kill on Lena. Yeah, they did get the Aegis as well. Yeah, they did get the Aegis. So it's at least going to prevent Rax. I don't think a Rax was going to happen anyways. They Even even without the Alchemist buyback, they managed... No, they, they with the Alchemist buyback, they picked off Storm and managed to hold on to their tower. At that point, I think that was as much as they could have hoped for. Yeah, it was but very aggressive. They chased, got greedy, ended up trading a Jakiro and an Alchemist for Lina, which I don't absolutely think is worthwhile. That, yeah, absolutely, that's not worth it. But, uh. Even Nakes with the goblins buys great up gold. his Basher, buys the Boots of Travel. He's got the gem at this point. Storm's got his ultimate orb. I think he's going for the Hex. He should be. Michael Life still might buy up an Abyssal right now. Yeah, he's got the gold for it. Yep, yep there's the there Abyssal. It is. That's going to be another disable through BKB against this Alchemist who's going to have a lot of difficulties, even though he's fairly farmed. Lena I think that was one of the initial reasons he didn't go for BKB, because he figured these items would come out anyways, and Batrider Lasso goes through it anyways. The problem, though, is that because he opted for a late BKB, now Nakes has an Abyssal, whereas he's only got a 9 second BKB still. He's used one BKB charge, and Nakes already has an Abyssal. If he had yeah. gone for BKB earlier and in his item choice, maybe before the Shadow Blade or the AC, could have made a difference, but... Oh, blinking on the Shadow Demon. It's a very bad Shadow Demon. There's nothing they can do about it. Looks like Lena tried to go for the kill steal, but wasn't early enough on it. Life Sealer got the last hit. And that's going to mean at least a tier 2 top tower, I believe. Shadow Demon, very necessary in this lineup. Even though he's a low-leveled support... Storm's got a Hex up. He can jump in. Hex one hero, silence another, and... Right now, this storm is looking very strong in terms of team fight. Yeah, definitely. And there's gonna Alchemist is far ahead. He's gonna go on the Alchemist. There's the silence. Hex to follow. This is should be a dead Alchemist. No, not right clicking for a while. It yet. will be. Oh no. no, storm doesn't have the gem up. Alchemist gonna make it out, running the other way. Should be able to survive. Has an Invisrin also available to him. He might just like say, "Fuck this! I'm gonna go push your tier two tower." No, he's not. He's gonna TP back. As the would've defense is coming on. Yeah, that would have been a very risky move since he had about 100 health left. Yeah, whole. Yeah, Lifesteal's going to TP back and defend this out. Mjolnir as well as. Yeah, he's just got tons of items. He's got all the items. Probably needs to sell his Midas at this point for something else. I would give the gem back to Storm Spirit. Rush down for another 6 minutes. No, that's not 6 minutes, 5 minutes. Wait, that's probably going to be the next step for the Radiant. Get as many exterior towers as they can. Probably pick off this last bottom tower before they wait, grab Roshan, and then push for a tower. Looks like a smoke ain't coming from Nexus, rotating down towards the bottom lane. They're going to find an invisible Bat Rider here. This is not going to be. Not oh, gonna this be is terrible. Him. Their gank is going to keep completely blown off. Bat Rider's invisible. Oh, however, Bat Rider chooses to initiate. How are you getting low? Can he get off the reverse? No, he cannot. Batrider gonna go down though. 
Lina going to go down as well. So far going okay for the Dire. Rubik is low also, but not going to go down. Storm jumps into the back lines, able to pick off the Shattered Demon. Now it looks like the Jakiro as well. Alchemist is chasing, and he's not going to be able to get anything done. He does pick off the Rubik, but now he's going to fall. That's not a worthwhile trade. He's going to try to run away, but there's the gem up on Life Sealer. He's going to fall here. Four for three, with the two Radiant carries surviving. Did Darkseer die? Yep. I don't think he did, no. I could be wrong. No, he did not die. So he survived that. And he's he can't defend, though. He has a wall up, but even with the wall up, he can't defend against these two. Nope. This is a little Storm is just going to jump straight through the wall. And even if they do go through the wall, they don't care about their losers. They, cannot, they can just turn around and kill them. Yeah, these are not... I mean, the Darkseer, as strong as he is, this is not the perfect lineup for him. The, like, they picked heroes which are extremely good. All gonna jump straight in onto the Darkseer underneath the tower. Get the dis defensive disruption off, and now Storm, low on mana, is gonna be able to make it out. He'll be fine. Meantime, Life Stealer going on the tower. He should be able to get the tower here. Yep, he gets the tower, but he gets perched up. He could definitely die here. Vacuum back. So you were gonna miss. Rage TP. Drop the RP. There it is. Can they get him anyway? Yeah, they're gonna get him. Magnus gets the last hit there. They managed to pick up a gem after that. Yeah, I got the gem too. Storm not gonna be able to recover that one. They killed the gem. I believe they did. Life Demon had it. Life Stealer buys back. Shadow Demon has it. Shadow Demon does have it. Life Stealer buys him a Shadow Blade. Interesting item choice. I don't feel like it gives him enough benefit at this point in the game, but yeah, whatever. I feel like Shadow Blade is more of a mid-game oriented item. I feel like he could have done better with either a Desso. An AC or a crit? Yeah. Storm Spirit just about farmed out at this point. Touché. Farming enemy jungle. He's level 25. Should probably. Looks like he's going for either a crit or an MKB. I'm guessing the crits. Yeah, I don't think he's going for Divine Jump Arcus. in onto the Shattered Demon, just gonna pick him off almost immediately. No, vacuum back! Shattered Demon mech gonna almost survive, but now he jumps right back out. <laughs> this is... Oh, stun comes! It's a long stun, too. Get stunned. Can they get him four off? four seconds. No. Oh, there's a Nyx behind him. Wall Nyx is... This. Nyx, Nyx might get brought down here, though. No, finishes off the Alchemist. Now there's no way they're gonna get off this Nyx. How you're chasing, trying to do some damage. There's your Shadow Blade. Over here now. And follow in jump from the Storm Spirit. That's going to be a kill. This is definitely, a, I think this is a Rax. Definitely the mm -hmm. bottom Rax at least. Top Rax possibly as well. You mentioned how Alchemist should go for the Abyssal. And he did that. He got the Skull Basher. The, his Basher. It worked on the Nakes. Helped us hold him down. But there's no way Alchemist can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Nakes without Lifesteal. Yeah, he's just too late at this point. Oh. If the Magnus... Oh. Big RP, but it's not gonna do much. Might save Darkseer's life, but that's. Yep. Yeah, Life Seer just going in too strong. Storm jumps in as well. Mech from the Darkseer are gonna keep Mech's life for a second. It's not gonna be enough to survive. And Rax is already gone. Mid Rax probably going to fall soon as well. Radiant rotating over that way. This should be your game in the very near future here. There's the call from Icon. GG well played. Yep, GG is called. And I don't know how this bracket works. I don't think there is a lower bracket, so I think this is the end for Nexus. Played a good game, and we'll see more from them later tonight. I will be broadcasting another game of theirs, 11 ESD. That is a best of three from Sivo's playoffs. So hopefully they'll be able to recuperate before they go in with that again. Thanks for casting with me, G. No problem, anytime. Yeah, always fun. We'll see more barracks is falling. Disconnects from Nexus. We'll see our score screen in just a minute here. Yeah, all in all, incredible play by the Storm Spirit. He was all over the place at the right time. Rarely got picked off. Very good play by Storm. The Alchemist just really didn't get an opportunity to farm. Alchemist shines in games that go a long time without action, where he can just sit and farm and take advantage of Goblin's Greed, and never got a chance for that. Well, even with that being said, I feel like he probably could have done better if he would have opted for a different item besides the Shadow Blade. Like, he, like you said, he did not have the opportunity to be aggressive. Which, I mean, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade Alchemist is a strong. Shadow Blade as strong. Biden is a gimmick. It is 100% a gimmick that does not work at competitive Dota because smart players will carry dust and will carry gems. There's yeah, no so chance whatsoever from. I think he might have used it once or twice to survive. And that was after. 
Storm transferred the jump to Nakes, and then Storm tried to jump on Alchemist solo. I remember one instance of that in the mid lane, and it's the only time I can think of off the top of my head where the Shadow Blade worked as a defensive item. Well, yeah, and I mean, I, I generally don't think it worked as an offensive item because he never really got the chase with it, you know? Yeah, I mean, if they had a better mid game, it might have worked. I mean, early game, it might have worked, but once they knew they were losing the early game, I feel that he should have gone for something else. He should have gone for a hardcore early team fight item, something like a BKB straight up. First item BKB could have done wonders for him because they would have won those early fights and he wouldn't have gotten picked off. Yeah, absolutely. Or he could have gone for an early AC, which would have made him practically invulnerable to Nyx, per se. Yeah, absolutely. Would have made him much tankier and he wouldn't have gotten picked off. But also, like, those stun stacking problems from Jakiro and Shatter Demon, and there were other yeah. issues as well, so early game problems. Slight slightly, you know, mis misplays in terms of positioning. Yeah, so some problems from early game in the Nexus. Hopefully they'll be able to work that out. It's a good game to watch, yeah. though. Some yeah. exciting kills. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for casting with Vin G. No problem. Yeah, and we'll Hope get back to you later. The cast. Yeah, we'll get back later. Stay tuned, guys. Peace out.